Right, Sunday evening again. Hope you've all had a great weekend. A few questions have come in again, so I'll just get straight into them because I know one or two people were disappointed last week that there wasn't an upload. So here we go. First question was tip choice. How do you decide what's the best tip for any given situation? I mentioned it loads and loads of times. I think this gets overlooked sometimes because a lot of people set the rods up at home. They automatically assume that when they get to the bank, you know, that the rod's ready to go. And sometimes I think tip choice just gets overlooked. I know I've done it in the past, certainly. So what I'll do is when I get to my peg, get them, get my box set up and the rod rest set up. Just simply put a bomb on on the rod, whack it out to where you expect to be fishing, and put the rod tip down. Just put the rod down and set it as though you were fishing. And while you're getting your bait trays out, make sure you ground bait and all that sort of stuff. Just keep your eye on the tip. If it's not right, if there's more tow than expected or less or whatever, you'll know then. That's the best time to find out. You don't want to be finding that out during the match. I know I've mentioned it before, but it keeps getting asked. Um, but yeah, it's very important to your fishing. Was that baby? Now this is something that um, I'm still experimenting with. I'll be totally honest with you. I, I've always favoured dark ground bait just through it's a confidence thing, especially in clear water during winter. But I know and I'm seeing more and more evidence of lighter mixers working in winter and on, on when the water's clearer. And until I've had a chance to actually do it myself and experiment with it and get confidence in it, I haven't really switched to, to lighter ground baits uh, yet, but I am slowly trying it in you know in, in one or two of the matches that I'm going in. So I still favour dark, but that's purely confidence really. But I can see lighter mixers working, so that's something I'm trying out as well. Um, and the same goes for sweet fish meal mixers as well. I'm seeing more and more anglers, especially the top anglers, using sweet fish meals and favouring sweet fish meals and that's not something I've ever really got into so that's certainly something I'm working on and obviously you'll see progress of that and what I really think about it from, from the future videos. The other question I've been asked was about ready rod bags. I obviously don't fish a lot, do a lot of pole fishing so a lot of my kit is cut down anyway so I'm not carrying poles and top kits and that sort of thing but however some of the venues I fish I've got to take three or four feeder rods with me to cover different eventualities and depending on where I draw I've been asked a couple of times about the sort of ready rod bag that I carry the one that I mainly use, I've obviously got three or four but the one that I mainly use is the, the four the four uh, ready rod ready rod bag ethos pro basically because it's built for four rods I can obviously get four rods in there but I, you know if, if it was just rods then you know you could probably get five or six rods in there to be fair but obviously within that I like to already carry one if I can get away with it within that I'll have my feeder arm in there um, landing net handles that sort of thing so one of the compartments is really taken up with those bits but having said that I can still carry up to five rods in that along with the landing net handles and everything so that's a great bit of kit like I say it's built for four and that means I'm just carrying one to the peg with me but you know it's got all all my rods in it and all the bits and bobs in it as well another question was asked about Southfield what about the matches there there's loads of matches there taking place at the moment and they're very very popular 50 plus peggers even though it's fishing quite difficult hopefully that's going to get better from this weekend on there's actually a match there today so it'll be interesting to see how that fishes basically it's Doncaster uh, Angling Association I'll put the link below for you and that's also kept up to date as regards the forthcoming matches if you do want to go pleasure fishing or on a recce it's quite a good website because it shows you where all the matches are and what the, what the peg numbers are as well so I'll put the link below for you Another question we've been asked, I get asked this all the time, my favourite Paternoster rig. I'm not going to bang on about it because I've covered it loads of times before. I'll put a link below for you. There is, uh, I did a, a video, it's probably one of the first videos I ever did about a year ago, so it's a bit rough and ready, but I think it gets the point across and you can see um, how the rig works. So I'll put a link below for you. I'll, I don't want to keep going over old ground, but link's below for you and uh, hopefully that'll answer that question. And the final one for tonight was basically matches. Obviously this time of year a lot of people have been watching my videos and it's been very much orientated around Boston and Lawford Lakes. People want to know how I just kind of know about the matches and what they are and what they entail. These two fisheries, big respect to them, have both got great websites. Lawford and Boston advertise their matches on their website and they also, on especially the Lawford one, they put all the match results on there as well in, in quite good detail to be fair as well. So and all the Boston matches you can actually book on through the Boston website so you actually pay for it there and then which is a brilliant system for those people I shall put the links below for you I don't want to keep going over it but the links are below and that's really it for, for tonight 
just a quick heads up I was at Boston yesterday and I fished the Masters qualifier um, like I said just one match this weekend I will upload the video for that on Tuesday evening half past six so you know there'll be a fresh match for you to watch there other than that um, after that one then it'll just be the normal Thursday night vlog and uh, plenty more news coming about the channel and the app and things that are you know really getting going now so um, thanks again for watching hope we've all had a great weekend please keep the questions coming in it's great and um, obviously while those questions are coming in and the feedback's good and the views are up and especially the subscriptions if you're not subscribed please subscribe it's free that'll keep you in the loop with all the uploads and um, you know I'll keep producing uh, videos for this channel for you so oh we've had a great weekend oh, Monday's not too painful back at work tomorrow uh, I'll see you all Tuesday night